Hello friends, welcome to the finale of our Manly Man Tumblr series. In this video, we're gonna make a really simple galaxy tumbler. I'm gonna be using this 40 ounce hydro flask for this design. This is a black powder coated hydro flask. So if you're not gonna use a powder coated tumbler, you'll just wanna take your plain stainless steel tumbler and paint it with a matte or flat black spray paint. Let it completely dry and then you can proceed with all of the steps as normal as we go through this video. Once I've got my little foam flower insert inserted into the top of the cup, I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'm going to tape off the threads of the cup where the lid will screw onto. And I'm gonna take that and tape it all the way up onto that insert so that one, it stays in place, two, we don't get any epoxy on the threads of the cup, and three, it's just gonna help like with the security of the like turner rod, holding on to this big tumbler that we're working on. So I'm gonna tape that in place, and then I'm gonna take my electrical tape and also tape off this top area of stainless steel that's on the cup. If you want to epoxy this and treat it like the rest of the cup, you totally can, but I just wanted to leave it stainless. So I'm going to tape that off, but as you can see, I'm leaving a really super small gap, and that's where our epoxy is going to form its final seal. So I'm not going to epoxy that stainless part. We're just gonna have a small little line right above where the black ends, and that's gonna be the final epoxy seal. The same way that we would on any of our other tumblers, it's that same little thin line of stainless steel that After taping got. everything off, I went outside and spray painted some random little white splotches on my tumbler. I used a matte white spray paint here, and there is no pattern to doing this. You just want to spray your random little spots. It does not matter how they look. This is just gonna be the base for where we put the color on with all of our alcohol inks because if you put your alcohol inks on black they're not going to show up but if you put them on white all of that vibrant color will come through and we'll have the black portions which are like the dark parts of the sky and space and then we'll have these really beautiful colorful galaxy areas all over the cup now this cup is for Brandon, my fiance. If you watched the last video, you met him in that video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you so you can watch it. He did the voiceover for one of my tutorials. It was a really fun time. Um, so yeah, anyway, this cup is his Hydro Flask and he requested that we do an all blue galaxy. So I'm going through all my alcohol inks and picking out as many different blue greeny tones as I can. I'm also grabbing a black alcohol ink that we'll use to deepen some portions of the sky and add in a lot of dimension. Now, if you only have a couple alcohol inks to do this, that is totally okay. You really only need maybe two or three. I would say at least two, so you have a little bit of variation. You definitely don't need to use a ton, um, but I have way more alcohol inks than I will ever need, so I'm trying to use them. <laughs> now, creating this galaxy look is really super easy and pretty fun. So what we're going to do is take a paper towel and I'm going to dab a little bit of the alcohol ink onto the paper towel and then dab it onto the tumbler. And as you can see in those white spots, we get a really nice vibrant blue tone. And I'm going to take all of my different colored alcohol inks and just really blot them all over my tumbler. I'm not only putting them in the white spots on the cup, I'm also bringing that color onto the black portions as well. And you'll see in just a little bit, when I take that black alcohol ink, I'm gonna put it in those black sections to really deepen those areas up. But I also don't want the color to just end out of nowhere. We want everything to flow really nicely together, look like it's all just one big, portion of outer space, if that makes any sense. So with my paper towel, as you can see, I'm just gonna go through with all of my different inks. I am using a different piece of paper towel for each of my ink colors so that they don't get all muddy and mixed together. Um, but I'm just gonna take each of those and go through adding my color. You'll also see that I'm using just plain rubbing alcohol too. That's going to really dilute your ink color. So if you find that you put a little bit too much ink or if you wanna break up your color a little bit, you can just take your plain 91% alcohol and break up your color. So you will see me do that as well, but I'm gonna speed this up and just let you watch the whole process. In all, this took me about 30 minutes to do using all of the different inks and the alcohol and the colors and blending and all of that, but just turn on a podcast or listen to some music and have fun.
Okay, so here's where I'm gonna go in with just the plain alcohol ink. And now this looks really scary because you've got all this beautiful blue color and you're gonna go in with a super dark, deep black alcohol ink. And it's a little intimidating, but I promise just go for it. Trust the process, everything will be okay. So what I did was just put the plain black alcohol ink on the tumbler. And then I took some plain rubbing alcohol and put that on my paper towel and use that to dilute and blot out that black color so that it wasn't just a harsh line of black. You can see that it kind of softened those lines out and is allowing me to really blend the blues and the black together to create that really cool dimensional galaxy effect. I kind of messed up on this part. I went in with the dark and tried to blot it out and it wasn't really blending, but remember, like I said, this is a trust the process type of design. So if this happens to you, just keep going. Don't be afraid to add just plain rubbing alcohol, which I did. I sprayed on the tumbler and then I went in with more blue alcohol ink right over it and everything blended out and just looked like a really deep, variated area of space. So. Don't be afraid to just put the color on. Everything is fixable. You literally cannot mess this up, okay? Just go for it. So after all of my alcohol inks are on my tumbler, this is what the cup looks like. At this point, I was so excited about how this was turning out. We haven't even added any stars or anything yet, and it totally looks like a galaxy. So I was stoked. What we're going to do next is let our alcohol inks dry for about 45 minutes, and then I'm going to add some extra little details that will make it look extra spacey. So I'm taking here a little bit of plain rubbing alcohol in my cup, and I'm going to add some white alcohol ink to that, mix it together, and then we're going to kind of like splatter this on the tumbler. Now, because this is alcohol ink, this is going to give us some little, almost like water splotchy looking things on there. And I thought that they would just look like cool little pieces floating around in space. If you don't want to do this step, you definitely don't have to. But my whole goal with this is trying to create as much variation and depth and dimension as I possibly can. So I wanted to add this along with the other elements that you'll see in just a minute to make it look really cool and spacey. The next thing we're gonna do is the exact same thing, but instead of the alcohol ink, we're gonna use white paint. So these are going to look like little stars and some more things floating around in our galaxy. And as you can see, I'm using a really small, dense chip brush here. For me, that always works the best, but if you have another paint splatter technique, share it down below in the comments. I'm happy to try anything, so if you have a better way of creating this look, let me know. But make sure also that you wear gloves here so you don't get paint all over your hands. And we're just gonna go to town with this white paint. I'm really doing it literally all over the tumbler. You can add as much or as little as you'd like, but I really like the effect that this gives. I feel like it makes it look like there's all these billions of stars in the sky. So I just went really crazy with this portion. <laughs> Thank you. 
With that chip brush and the same white paint, I'm going to make a few little dots on the tumbler and then I'm going to rub them out with my fingers. This is going to give us just another, again, layer of dimension. It's going to brighten some of these areas up a little bit, like little areas of light maybe. Um, and since we've got the blue alcohol ink on the tumbler, they're going to kind of like be tinted a little bit blue if that makes sense so as you can see just little tiny areas of white just to brighten up some areas you definitely don't have to do this if you don't want to um, but i thought it would be a fun little thing to add i also decided to mix together what was left of the white paint in my cup and some more white alcohol ink and then i did the same thing i just went to town splattering that all over the tumbler i really wanted a lot of this on there because again to me these all look like billions of stars in our galaxy and this is what really makes the whole design come to life and look like space so you can see all of those tiny little dots when you mix the alcohol ink and the paint together they're really vibrant and this was a really cool technique i didn't i've never mixed together alcohol ink and paint before but it worked out really well so i will definitely be doing it again So after all of that, this is what the cup looks like. Definitely looking galaxy-ish to me. Now the next step is my favorite. We are going to add a little bit of glitter to this. So I grabbed Levi, Honeymoon, and H2O, all from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I'm going to put all of them into their own little medicine cup. We're just using a little tiny bit of each one. Now, if you don't want to use that middle color, that's Levi, you definitely don't have to. You can just stick with the silver tones. That's totally fine. But that Levi color is kind of like a duo chromy shifting color, and I thought it would look really cool in some tiny little areas on the tumbler. To adhere my glitter, I'm going to use my UV resin. So I'm taking just a really tiny, tiny bit and I'm going to spread that all over my tumbler. If you would prefer to just use regular epoxy, you absolutely can. Um, you can also just use like glitter glue or Mod Podge or whatever adhesive you like best. Make sure though, if you're going to use anything to do this, you want to make sure, make sure, make sure that your alcohol inks are dry so that they don't repel any adhesive that you are using. Starting with H2O, I'm going to dump a little bit of it out on my paper and I'm going to place all of these glitters by hand. Now H2O is a custom mix. It's very holographic and super sparkly and it has little stars in it. So with my pen pen, I'm going to pick up each star individually and I'm going to just randomly place them all over the tumbler. To stick the stars to my pin pen, you might have seen me just tap the end of the pen onto the UV resin. That's going to get just the tiny little bit of it on the end of my pen so that I can pick up the stars and then place them down into that UV resin. I'm also going to take a few of the other little pieces that are in this mix and put them randomly all over the cup as well. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this step at all if you don't want to, but I thought that they would bring a really cool element, really bring the design to life and bring some more like focused stars if that makes sense because we've got our background layer of stars. Now we can bring a few more to the forefront and make them look more defined like actual stars. I picked up a few little sections of glitter and I'm kind of sprinkling them all over the tumbler to give that just natural falling look of the stars all over the place. And I'm gonna do that with the remaining two glitters as well. So taking Levi first, again, that's the color shifting one. And I'm just gonna, as you can see, pick up a little bit with my fingers and then sprinkle those pieces onto the tumbler. Doing it this way allows me to get really small amounts of glitter and make sure that we don't have any like 
dumping of glitter. Like I want the smallest little amount possible on this tumbler. So doing it like this allows me to really control how much glitter actually ends up on the cup. So finally what I'm doing here with Honeymoon is sprinkling that pretty liberally on the tumbler. I'm still using the same technique of dumping it out on the paper and picking up a little bit of it, but this is a really extra fine silvery white color. And when you sprinkle it on the tumbler, it really just adds to that really nice look of stars all over the cup. So once I had this done, I set this in front of my UV lamp for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to let that UV resin totally cure. And then I went in with two coats of regular epoxy. I'm using the Flint Sister Supply Shop Artist Cure Epoxy for those final coats. Now, of course, if you'd like to, you can add a decal on here. You can do planets, an astronaut, aliens, whatever kind of decal you want. But Brando did not want a decal, so we left it plain, um, but here's the final result. I really, really, really love how this turned out. Totally looks like a galaxy to me, and I'm really happy with it. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed the Masculine Tumblr series as well. I have a few more ideas that I might publish later, um, but this series was so highly requested and I really hope that I didn't disappoint you all with the ideas I came up with. It's hard to make tumblers without glitter, you guys. So let me know what you thought of the series down below in the comments. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. If you want more exclusive content from me, you can join my elite fam. All of that information along with the full supply list for this video is down below in the description box. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Okay, love you. Bye. Hello friends. Thanks so much for watching this video. I want to say a huge special thank you to my elite fam, my channel members, and my subscribers. You all make this channel possible. So thank you so much for being part of the fam. If you want more exclusive content from me, you can join my elite fam at patreon.com slash elite fam. You can find my tumblers and digital files on my website madebymalstudio.com. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram at madebymal underscore studio. Here's another video for you to check out and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.